This document is about uncertainty calculations, and this is specifically about multiplication. When quantities with uncertainties are combined, the results also have uncertainties, and so the following discussion is about multiplication. And for this, the examples will be used of x equal to 2 plus or minus 1, and y equal to 32 plus or minus 0.2. The first kind of multiplication is multiplication by a constant. Now, a constant is a number that has no uncertainty. So if we multiply a number with an uncertainty by a number that has no uncertainty, what happens? So suppose we have, again, x is 2 plus or minus 1. If we multiply that by 4, that means we get something that can be as small as 4 or as big as 12. So what that means is 4x is 8 plus and minus 4, which is 4 times 2 plus or minus 4 times 1. So you'll notice that the uncertainty gets multiplied by the constant. Graphically, it looks like this. Suppose this bar represents the value of x, and delta x is the value of this little bar, and also the value of this little bar. So if we multiply it by a constant, in this case something smaller than 1, so a half, it's as though the whole bar gets smaller. So you notice that the quantity itself gets smaller, and the uncertainty also gets smaller. So to summarize, the uncertainty in a constant times a value is, a con is the constant times the uncertainty. So when we multiply by a constant, we multiply the uncertainty by the same constant. Now, what if we have two or more numbers that each have uncertainties? What happens when we multiply them together? So here's an example. So our two numbers before, if we multiply them together, then again, the smallest that the result can be is the product of the smallest that each of the two numbers can be. And the largest that the product can be is the product of the two largest things that this can be. So what that means is we can, again, say that the value of the product is the nominal value plus or minus the difference between the nominal value and either the smallest or the biggest value. And we'll see that what that works out to be is that uncertainty is the uncertainty in one divided by that first one plus the uncertainty in the second one divided by the second one times the nominal value of the product. So in general, we say the uncertainty in xy is xy times delta x over x plus delta y over y. So when we multiply numbers, we add the proportional uncertainties because delta x over x is the proportional uncertainty into x, and delta y over y is the proportional uncertainty in y. So we can show this graphically by remembering that the product of two numbers is the area of the rectangle with the sides of those two lengths. So to simplify it, we'll only show uncertainties in one direction. Um, just remember that uncertainties can be in either direction. So here we have this bar whose length is x, and it has an uncertainty, delta x. So now if we put y perpendicular to that, so the nominal value of y is here, and the uncertainty in y is here, then the nominal value of the product is the area given by x times y. The maximum value of the area is given by the maximum value of those two bars. So x plus delta x times y plus delta y. So the difference between those two rectangles is given by this shape here. So this first bar has a length of x and a width of delta y. This one has a length of y and a width of delta x. This little square here is just delta x times delta y. Because it's so small, then we can ignore it. So basically, the difference between uh, the two rectangles, the maximum value and the nominative value, is mostly given by the areas of these two rectangles. So the one rectangle is y times delta x, and the other one is x times delta y. So the uncertainty in xy is approximately y delta x plus x delta y. And if we multiply top and bottom by xy, we get xy over xy times all of that. And then when we 
bring that inside, we get xy times delta x over x plus delta y over y. Now remember that if x or y is negative, then we really need to put absolute value signs around each of these terms, and even around this front one, because we always talk about the uncertainty as positive, and the uncertainty contributions of the different values will always be positive. So, when we multiply by a constant, the uncertainty gets multiplied by that same constant. When multiplying numbers, we add the proportional uncertainties. And remember that uncertainties in final results are usually expressed to one significant figure, so that above result gets expressed like this. So 64.0 plus or minus 32.4 would be 60 plus or minus 30 to one significant figure.